their position in and around the main entrance of the Student Services Building where the university confirms a number of administrators remain trapped somewhere in this building, including the president of the university. An unbelievable scene here in East L.A., at Cal State L.A., a situation that uh, is only growing by the minute. And Trapped inside the building administrators who i could really care less about as somebody who has worked on the inside of this university system which is the exact antithesis to learning this is the exact antithesis to education they are indoctrination camps and they are reaping what they sow the university president if you're just kind of uh, hearing this breaking news last night because she allowed these protesters, I have to do that because if I don't, they're going to delete this and flag this and uh, I won't be able to post this, but these are not protesters. What's the opposite of a protester? You guessed it. She allowed these encampments, just like all these university presidents across the country have allowed these very elaborate, complex, and disruptive, violent uh, protests and encampments across universities. And it has backfired big time. Vandalism, Cal State Los Angeles in my backyard. Uh, these protesters have taken, basically they've taken hostages, university president, administrators, and look at some of this uh, vandalism that they have done. These are really Hamas supporters. They're not really protesters or students. These are very organized Antifa uh, same people who really kind of destroyed and looted and organized mayhem and bedlam during the uh, BLM riots back in 2020. Check out this vandalism right here. It's unbelievable. This is a... Uh, Campus um, security car, it looks like. Facility services, maybe a go-kart. Look at that. They vandalized the building. They wrote die. They wrote all sorts of extremist, radical. This is not peace protests. These are not quote-unquote activists or protesters. These are violent extremists. There's no other way of putting this. They splattered spray paint, you know, to reflect blood. I mean, this is... Look at some of the stuff they wrote on the walls. We've been watching for the better part of the last hour as they have begun looting the building, the first floor. We've seen a number of pieces of office furniture, sofas, workstations, computers, copy machines, all coming out, parading out to the front door, through the front door, and then eventually, in many cases, out to the various barriers that they are building. They are building several sets of barricades to block every possible access point to this building, where we are told at this hour, a number of administrators remain trapped, including the president of the university. As somebody who thankfully is no longer doing this, uh, but as somebody who taught in the public sector, taught at some of the, I mean, I've taught at state universities, Cal State universities. I've taught at private universities. I taught at universities all over California and all over the country. And I can tell you from firsthand, this is exactly what they wrought upon themselves. They have... They are they are literally reaping what they have sowed for decades. I've been saying it for a very, very long time. These are propagandist machines. Warn your children. Parents, beware. I've said this for a very, very long time. These are the types of initiatives, learning outcomes, curriculum they have tried to implement and have implemented for the last God knows how long, 50, 60, 100 years. They have sowed hate for America. They have sowed discontent for capitalism. They have sowed support for communism, nihilism, 
uh, Bolshevikism, any kind of ism that is anti-American, anti-capitalist, anti-free enterprise, anti-free market. This is the byproduct of the ideologies they have imbued in their system for decades. And they are now reaping the benefits of it, sadly. And this is going to happen more and more. And where is Gavin Newsom? Where is Karen Bass, the mayor of Los Angeles? Where is Gavin Newsom, who is literally turning our state into, we have a massive exodus, a $75 billion budget deficit, which we had a surplus not that long ago. He has spent billions and billions of dollars defunding the police, uh, taking away uh, 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 resources and funding for uh, tons of law enforcement and tons of law enforcement administration. He has funded the homelessness uh, industrial complex, which has solved nothing but made homelessness 10 times worse. You need to be aware of this. And he has funded this ideology that is pervasive in our higher educational learning institutions. It's the same reason why you had Dr. Gay, Dr. Magel, and others, those university presidents, when asked a very simple question, do you condemn the genocide? They couldn't answer these questions because these are the kind of ideologies that they instill in students, in your kids, in my kids. And then they have the audacity to say, I want you to forgive my student loan debt. Then they have the audacity to say, no, 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 you need to, you need to absolutely kowtow to us. You need to cater to us. You need to take care of us. We are the ones who are in the right. We're going to vandalize. We're going to loot. We're going to take over your campus. We're going to spew hate. We're going to blockade and disrupt all campus operations. We're going to prevent students, hard paying students who actually want to learn from getting to their class. This is what's happening, and it's going to become more and more rampant if we don't do anything. As somebody who has been around these people, I've worked with these people, I've tried time and time again to say, can we please try a different way? Can we try something that actually relates to the real world? A lot of you might not know this if you're kind of new to my channel, but the reason I created this platform, the reason I created this channel was over eight years ago, almost 10 years ago, I had a student come up to me and say, Professor Nez, I just paid $100,000 for a piece of paper and nobody will hire me. And it broke my heart because I knew, because I've been fighting the administration time and time again. I've been fired over this, telling them, look, you're not teaching them things that they can actually apply to their lives, to their vocation, helping them to look at the world critically. You're teaching them what to think, not how to think. Critical thinking and critical discernment is our ultimate sovereignty. And if we don't give them that, if we just, you know, these are very impressionable. Their minds are like sponges at this age. 18 to 24 is a major, major development uh, period for us, for all of us. And if all you're doing is telling them that America stinks, capitalism stinks, corporate greed stinks, profits, you should never even try for profit, that uh, organization is terrible, law and order is terrible, the police are your enemy, the government is your enemy. I mean, you keep instilling this over and over and over again. This is what you're going to see. So there's a part of me that's almost... Um, vindicated but there's also a part of me probably the more it's stronger than the vindication part that is just deeply saddened because these institutions these higher ed uh, uh you know organizations they should be places that facilitate critical thinking and critical discernment i've had some great professors in my time granted uh, i've had a lot you know more bad ones than good ones but still um th th this experience should not be polluted like this and it has been and it's only going to get worse and the real tragedy is none of those looters none of those protesters who vandalized and took hostages administrators and the president of cal state los angeles none of them are going to get reprimanded none of them are going to face any charges none of them are going to get suspended and it's only going to embolden others it's only going to create a snowball effect that's all that's going to happen and so um it's it really is something that's i'm very passionate and strikes deep to my heart this kind of a topic 
because I was around it for so long. No longer. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm full-time media now company and I have other businesses as well that I run. But um, it still saddens me because I was. it was a big chunk of my life. I was a part of that world. And there was time and time again where I was in meeting after meeting after meeting with my head down, crestfallen at basically these Marxist Leninists who have taken over the programs, policies, and curriculum for a lot of the different schools uh, in, in every single university across the country. They are anti-American. They are anti-capitalist. They are anti-freedom of speech. They are anti-freedom of expression. They want to create this. This is what they want to create. And when it backfires on them, who do they turn to? They turn to law enforcement. Who do they turn to? Private investors, the people who donate. Oh, we need help. We need money. Oh, now we need you. We need you to secure the campus. We need you to take care of the... Can you come save us? I'm trapped in my faculty office. These guys have taken us hostage. Um, 911, now you want the police? Now you want law and order? Shame on you. You created this and you need to fix this. I throw this off to you, Nez Nation. Uh, I want to hear what you guys think. What are your thoughts? What are your comments? Am I wrong? Because I believe in a meritocracy, because I believe America is the greatest country on earth, a meritocracy is all about the best idea wins. It's not about who's right or wrong. I want to create conversation. If I'm wrong, let me know. I'm happy to admit I'm wrong because I love my country. Egos aside, country first. So let me know in the comments what you think. I would love to hear from you. Obviously, it's impossible for me to answer every comment. So, uh, you know, super thanks and super chats get top priority. Becoming a member, which only costs you, by the way, a cup of coffee for an entire month. You spend more than that in 30 seconds every single morning. I would highly encourage you to become a member because you get a badge next to your name. You get shout outs and live stream special uh, responses and live Q&A, live stream giveaways, as well as access to our amazing members only discord with unbelievable conversation, interaction and engagement with yours truly and others like minded people. And you support us. That's all in the pinned comment and in the links in the description and show notes. Also, um, our free newsletter is down there too, so make sure you subscribe to that so you don't miss anything that mainstream media doesn't cover because I cover things that they don't cover. Make sure you, that's free, so all you gotta do is give us your best email and you're in. Check out these videos coming up on the screen right here. Subscribe and follow, and as always, God bless you, and may God bless America. I'll see you soon.